Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club. Welcome to my video. Last week we had a look at the text join function and the text join function allows you to join multiple items of text from different cells or an array of cells into one cell and only um, mentioning the separator once. It's a really, really useful tool. And if you missed that post, do hop over to my blog and have a look at how simple the text join function is. But what we're going to look at today is something much more complicated using the text join function. We're going to combine the text join function along with an array if statement to pull in multiple items of text into one cell. Let's take a look at our data set and I will show you what we mean. We have some order numbers, we have product, we have line item and we have sales price. Now it's a very small sample of data to practice with, but imagine you had a sheet and it had thousands of rows of data on it. This is a really quick way of being able to summarize your data or pull your data into a different format. So if we have a specific order number, we want to be able to return the products, a list of the products in the one cell. We want to count the line items and we want to sum the sales for all of them items. Now, counting the line items is rather simple. We can use the count if function. And the count if function counts the where, at first it looks for the range. So it's the range in which you're going to find the criteria. And this is our range here. And then after that, it looks for the criteria. And our criteria is the order number. So that's basically the count if function. And we can count the number of line items in a with a particular criteria. So we see that order number 1004 has four line items and we can see them up here. Now, if we wanted to sum the sales, we could also use one of the if functions. So we could use sum if, and we only have one criteria. So we don't need the sum if, we just need the sum if s, we just need the sum if. So first it looks for a range, and this is the range in which you're going to find the criteria. After this, it looks for the actual criteria, which is the order number. And then after this, it looks for the sum range. So this is the range that we're going to sum. And it's going to then sum all of the sales for that particular order number. Now, if we change the order number, we see these values update. Now, the tricky part is pulling in the products. So we need to do a some sort of lookup that's gonna look up the order number and it's going to return the products and it's going to return all of these into the one cell. And this is where the text join function is really, really useful. But we're going to combine the text join function with a, an array if statement. So let's go through it. We will start by using our text join function. And our text join function first looks for the delimiter. And the delimiter is what you want to separate it by. So let's just say we wanted to separate it by a comma. Because it's text, we put it into inverted commas. Now, the ignore if true or false will include empty cells. So true will ignore empty cells, which is what we're going to select here. We want to ignore empty cells. The next, it's looking for the text. And this is where we're going to combine it with an if statement. So we can put in if, and our logical test, well, we're gonna use an array for our logical test. And an array is a group of cells together. But when you're entering an array formula into Excel, it doesn't work by just pressing enter. You need to press control, shift, and enter. And we'll look at that in a second. So our logical test is, well, if the array, so if all of the order numbers is equal to the order number that we are looking up, well then what do we want? Well the value that we want if true is going to be the products, and again that's an array, and the value if false, well if it's false we just want a blank, and we know our double quotes or double vertical commas are uh, representing blank in Excel. Now we have most of the formula in, and if we just press enter here, well first I found a typo because I didn't have my extra bracket at the end, so I'll put that in, but I'm getting a value. 
and I'm getting a value error because this is an array formula. So I pressed F2 there to go back into edit mode. And as I mentioned, when you're entering an array formula, you need to press Control, Shift and Enter. And see now we have three items, webcam, speakers and USB cable. Now I'm going to F2 to edit that again. And I'm going to put in comma spaced, comma space to make it look a little bit better. And then I'm going to press Control, Shift and Enter. So it's a little bit more readable now. So what we've done is we have used text join and with the text join then we've done an if statement with an array to pull back in the values. Now if we change this to let's say 1004, we can see that updates and it pulls in the four products, the line, count of line items is updated and the total sales has updated. Now just to show you something else, if we go into formulas now and go into evaluate formulas, we can go through this step by step. So we'll see that it takes the, the 101 three times, the 102 once and so forth. They're all the order numbers and they're checking to see if they are equal to 1004. Now only the last four there are equal to 1004 and a logical statement will give a list of trues or false. So when we evaluate that next, we see all of these falses and then the trues. So it's only the trues because we've said value when true. So only when it's true are we taking them values for text. So it brings in the values for text because we've said when true and when false, it's left them blank. Now in our text join, we have ignored blanks. So these values aren't pulled in. So it pulls in the correct value. If we go back, and I'm going to F2 this formula. And instead of true here, I'm going to put in false to include empties. And when we press Control, Shift and Enter, we see we have all of these commas because we've also got the falses in here. It hasn't removed the falses because we have said except the blanks. So the if statement with the array will return a list of blanks and non-blanks, trues and falses. And the trues and falses we've identified with the products. And if the product is blank, it's going to return the comma because we have included. And if we F2 it again, we can turn that back to true and press Control, Shift and Enter. And we see now it has removed them spaces. So if you have any questions or comments on this post, please do hop over to my blog and leave them on my blog. I've now powered up the comment section on my blog with Steam. So it is a, a better way for us to interact together and you have an opportunity to earn some Steam crypto rewards by engaging in comments on my blog post instead of here on YouTube. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications button so you don't miss any videos moving forward. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye now.